the singer Lady Kazan. From Days of Our Lives, Michael White. And from the same show, Stereo Rubble. Today, one of our contestants can win one of these three fabulous cars and a vacation of a lifetime on a Caribbean cruise on the all-new Prosperous. Here to help us figure it all out is our host, David Ford. Thank you very much and welcome to our show. Nice to see you people in the studio audience and those of you at home in your living rooms, your kitchens and your bedrooms, welcome. We've got a great one lined up for you. We have two terrific teams, Steve Bluestein, we have Lainey Kazan, we have Diane on team number one and Michael Weiss and Daria Ruggles and Lisa, team number two. And with that, Michelle, how do we play this game? You'll be given clues to words in a crossword puzzle, all of which add up to a person, place, or thing. Answering the clues correctly gives you control of the game, and the letters in these answers are worth points. Stars can help with the crossword answers, but only the contestant can solve the puzzle for bonus points. And uh, let's see our first puzzle, please. Quickly. Thank you. Just had to make a little adjustment here. All right, now we uh, are gonna start off with Lisa. It is a person that we are looking for, not necessarily a proper name, although it certainly can be. Would you pick a word for Michael Weiss? Okay, David, I'll start with one down. They're a drag for brides. They're a drag for brides. Uh, pink flamingos. Uh, okay, uh, trains. Trains, yes. Lisa, you look semi-astonished. Uh, I just want to remind the contestants and the stars that we always word our clues very cleverly. Okay. It's something we want to have you keep in mind. Trick words, trick clues. So with that, move on, Lisa. Okay, we'll try six across. If your child is painting your walls with strawberry jam, <laughs> he's just going through a what, Daria? <laughs> he's going through a stage. Yes. <laughs> Lisa? Uh, we will try five down. The late Nicholas Colasanto played this role on Cheers. Oh, uh, 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 the coach. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Lisa? Uh, two down. An only child doesn't have one. Um, uh, oh, must be sister. Can't be brother. Sibling? An only child doesn't have... No, 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 no. There was not... Uh, that was not uh, done right. So that's up to Lisa now. An only child have... Brother. Brother. Oh. <laughs> that's correct. Okay. Our computer is a little bit asleep. We'll have to uh, plug it in again or something. But anyway, we're off. We've got brother, and we are now waiting for Lisa to pick a word for Michael Weiss. Four across. There you go, four across. One might be wanted, dead or alive. Michael? Uh, uh, one might be wanted, a cheese omelet. No, that's not what we were looking for. About outlaw? Sure, yeah, outlaw. That's, that's what you meant to say. You only have one left. It's three down. You can either go for that or you can go for the overall solution to the puzzle. It is a person. David, I'd like to solve it. It's a person. Is it Jesse James? Tell me that with more authority. because I know that it's Jesse James. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> Let's take a look up at the puzzle. Three down was Frank. Frank and is there? Uh, trains, coach, stage, and brother. All of those add up to Jesse James. Well done. So, now let's take a moment and get to know Lisa and Diane. Lisa Walker, you are a student who has a three and a half year old daughter and a four and a half year old marriage. I'm glad it's in that order. Yes, me too. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to UCLA. I'm working on my master's in education. Good for you. Yep. Good for you. So you are going to become a high school teacher? High or? school teacher, math and computers. Wow. Yes. Noble objective. Yes. If you know anything about computers, maybe you can tell our computer how to function a little bit better while you're on process. Thank you, and nice, uh, nice to see you here. Diane Hi. Phillips, you are a bank secretary by day, and it says by night 
a river rafter. Yes, more than likely, usually it's by weekend, actually. I love to go river rafting at every opportunity. Um, I just got back from the Tuolumne River, and it's a lot of fun. I almost drowned. <laughs> what fun for you, almost drowning. We're glad you didn't. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, question, have you, ever, um, have you ever done the Colorado? No, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's a lot of money, and I have to get about eight days aside where I can do something like that. Is that considered the creme de, the creme, de la creme of uh, river rafting? I think so. I'm not really sure. Well, we <laughs> I'm not you, expert. We hope you get there, and we hope you come back. Yeah, me too. Maybe ringing wet, but at least alive. Definitely no, ringing wet, show. I'm sure. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the score. 195 points for Lisa. Diane hasn't even had a chance to speak as of yet, and we'll sure give her that opportunity when we start off with game number two. Remember, the person with the most points at the end of the three games is the one who goes on for a chance at the trip, as well as a brand new car. Commercial time. We'll be right back. points for Lisa and Diane doesn't have any yet as I just said she's gonna get that opportunity when we start off with game number two but first something we're all dying to do is catch up with two of our stars we have Steve Bluestein and we have Lainey Kazan Steve uh, yes. recently you were in Houston for the sesquicentennial now yeah, tell I was, us what that was like have you ever do you, do you guys know about this the sesquicentennial it was a huge celebration in Houston and they what they had done was they had taken all the buildings in town and they had fireworks going off the roof and the so the whole skyline was a huge explosion and it was just really terrific and I was down there and all I could think of was some drunk on a bench getting up in the middle of all this going oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to a it's unbelievable but you enjoyed Houston I love Houston it's a wonderful say, uh, city it's very humid however but, uh, but great the folks down there are just very, very nice down very, Terrific. Texas. Terrific. Really. And we're glad you came back to join us here on Crossroads. Thanks. Thank you. Now, Lainey, you recently completed a starring role in Harry and the Hendersons for Universal. Tell us all about that picture. It's a Spielberg production. And a it was, Spielberg yeah, production? Yeah, uh-huh. And it was directed by um, Bill Deere, and it stars um, John Lithgow, Melinda Dillon, and Donna Amici, and it's a delicious film. It's uh, on, on, the, on the style of an E.T., with a, a, a creature, and I can't say any more about it because it's a Give secret. Give us an insight what it's like working with himself, his own self. I, 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 he was the producer. He did not direct. But no, but uh, I mean, what, did he drop by the set? Oh, sure. Or? He's Great. wonderful. Good guy. Mm -hmm. All right, congratulations. You're on a big professional role. Nice to see you with us. Okay, let's get going with game number two. Uh, it's a play. kick off with you and with Steve, so go ahead and pick out a word for him. Okay, um, let's start with two down, Steve. All righty. It describes the Witch of the West. Uh, witch of the West. Uh, uh, evil. Uh, no, evil. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Yes, wicked. Okay, how about one across, please? Lainey, how many points do you get for a slam dunk? Um, for a who? For a slam dunk. How many points? Oh, God, I don't know this stuff. What's a slam dunk? You're kidding. Breakfast cereal. <laughs> I don't uh, know. It's not a breakfast cereal, no. Diane? Two. Yes, two points. That's a basketball. You're in the land of the Los Angeles Lakers, and of course, slam they have a lot dunk. of slam dunkers there. Kareem should be one of them. Diane? Okay, how about six across, please? When a policeman stops you for speeding, he might ask, hey, where's the blank, Steve? Uh, where, where's the, um, where's the fire? Where's fire. the fire? You're doing some quick catching up. You got 65 points, Diane. Okay, five across, please. Minnesota has twin ones, Lainey. Minnesota has twin ones, not towers. Um, uh, Diane? Cities. Cities. Minneapolis, St. Paul. Right. Twin cities. Um, let's go for three down, please. In Star Wars, an entire planet was blanked with one shot. Uh, eradicated. Uh, was, uh, uh, destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> okay, you got 140 points. You're 55 away from Lisa. What do you want to do here, Diane? I think I'm going to have to go for four down. You have to put your hand on it before you testify. Bible. Bible. 
Yes, ma'am. And now you're 30 points away. You can, if you solve the overall solution, if you get the overall solution, you can get 50 points and take the lead, Diane. It is a place. Stumped? You don't have to be sorry. Now we go over to Lisa. Sodom and Gomorrah. That is the place. Yes, take a look up at the puzzle. Two cities destroyed by both fire. Wicked is Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, 245 points for Lisa. Diane has 165, and Steve has a quick comment. Yeah, it was just off the Ventura Freeway. Though. Yes, it's just right, right here in Southern California. Hey, we got to break away. We'll be right back. One going 245 points for Lisa and 165 points for Diane. So that's 35 and 45, whatever that total is. How much is that? 80 points away? 17. No, it's 80 points away. Anyway, before we get going and start off with Diane, we want to check in with Michael Weiss and with Daria Ruggles. Now, Michael? Yes, sir. Once worked as a private fitness trainer. Mm -hmm. Gosh, uh, that sounds like Bodies by Jake. Now, uh, what stars have you whipped into shape? James Brolin. Uh, Pierce Brosnan, uh, Anthony Edwards. Uh, instead of being a waiter when I was not a work actor, I decided I'd, you know, I was a fitness fanatic myself. I thought I'd make a little money on the side. And it What's your out routine? You uh, pump iron and... You want me to show you? Yeah. Drop down, buddy. Do 25 push-ups now. <laughs> if I tried 25 push-ups, I think it would be the end of my life. Right I'll stay right here on, on my own two feet. Nice to see you, Michael. Nice Thanks for being you. on the show. Glad to be here. Uh, Daria, you have an interesting sideline. Tell us uh, what you uh, do when you're not working on days. Well, uh, which one? I work in a metaphysical bookstore in Los Angeles, and I also make silk lampshades. Is that, is that? There's both. I do both. Are you serious? A metaphysical bookstore? A metaphysical bookstore. Define metaphysics for us. Oh, it's a very broad term. Anything from New Age psychology to uh, learning Hindu. And everything. It's, it's, you know, it's the, the offbeat, the spiritual, the whatever you want to call it. It's Have you run into Steve Bluestein at all in your travels? <laughs> yes, he's there drinking tea. I've seen him. Well, that's most it. And what's the other thing? You, you silk lampshades, mm -hmm. you say? Oh, yeah, yeah, I make like antique silk lampshades. You're a very the, interesting The silk is individual. antique and that the shade is, is new, though. Beauty and intelligence, uh, you've got it all. And it's lovely to see you on I've the show. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Okay, let's get going with game. <laughs> Number three. It's a thing that we are looking for as the overall solution. We have Diane up with Steve Bluestein. Okay, um, two thoughts, please, Dave. Kids with water pistols might be called little what's. Little what's. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphysically, uh, <laughs> they are uh, rascals. They're not. Diane. Mm, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> All right. We may be back to you. Lisa, pick a word. Uh, David, I'll try one down. Daria. On weekends and holidays, it costs less for long what? I'm sorry, one more time? On weekends and holidays, it costs less for long what? Long stays? Long... No. Lisa? Distance. Distance. Oh, oh. <laughs> No charge to Mother Bell for that little bit of advertising, yeah. of course. Lisa? <laughs> All right, uh, two across for Michael. Kids with water pistols might be called little what's? Little, Michael. little, little game show hosts. Little, <laughs> little brats, little buggers, little, I can't say that word, little. Lisa. Squirts. Squirts. Oh, that's it. <laughs> You'll get a big bang out of these crackers. A big bang out of these crackers, not cheese, not. Um, <laughs> Lisa, quickly. Don't know that the, the time is up. And so with that, we want you to take a look up at the puzzle and see if you can solve overall. Is it a water thing. gun? No, it's not a water gun. Diane, can you tell us what it is? A hose? A hose? No, it's not a hose. Of course, you didn't have much information. Distance, squirts. Those are two pretty good answers, actually. Anybody have any idea? 
I mean, Acne. why would you with only two words? Is it fire truck? Close. Acne? It turns out, no. It's, <laughs> it's, oh, God. That is gross. Oh. It's a flamethrower that we are looking for. And now, let's take a look up at the puzzle. Squirts, distance, army, weapon, stream of fire. All adds up to flamethrower. Okay, now, as it stands, 320 points for Lisa. Diane, 165 points. So that means that, Lisa, you are our champion. Congratulations. <laughs> Diane, loved having you on the show. Hope you had a good time. We're going to send did. you home with our thanks and some nice parting gifts. And will you come back and see us again? Sometime? I'd love to. Thanks. Please do. You'll be thinking about, Lisa, you'll be thinking about who you're going to take into the crossfire round. While you're doing that, we'll go away for a commercial message. We'll be right back. Lisa, you're the champion. You're to be congratulated, of course. Are you nervous or something? No, or no. Just holding on I to my no blood pressure yeah, left in my hand. Makes good sense to hold on to Michael, being the stud that he is. Say, listen, if you two put this thing together in the right way, then we're going to send you away on a beautiful trip. You and your husband and Michelle will tell us all about it. Yes, David, a Caribbean cruise. We'll fly you to get from Los Angeles to Florida, where the exotic Caribbean waters beckon to you to board your Holland America cruise for seven days of fun, sun, and relaxation, furnished by Holland America Line. Okay, and also, <laughs> I'm... You know what you should do? You should look into the camera and say, eat your heart out, girls. There are a lot of girls who'd like to be in your position right now, Lisa. I can guarantee you. Where were they when I needed them? Hey, we've got a beautiful brand new car we're going to be trying for. Right, Michelle? Right, David. It could be the Chevrolet Spectrum knockback sedan featuring five-speed transmissions, sport mirrors, body side pinstripes, and other features furnished by Stop Chevrolet. Thank you, Michelle. We've got 10 words up there, 60 seconds to get them. Lisa, go ahead and yell out a number. Good luck to you. All right, one across. A lie. Uh, falsehood? Yes. Two down. Vienna is its capital. Austria. Austria. Yes. Four across. Wager. Bet. Bet. Yes. Three down. A Canadian province. O Ontario. Zero. Yes. Five across. It's found in a gallery. Art. Art. Yeah. Seven down. Self-satisfied. Uh, uh, Go ahead and pass. Across. The tune of a song. Melody. Yes. Eight down. A park in London. Uh, Hide. Hide. Yes. Ten across. The canvas over a window or door. Shade. Uh, lavalier, blind. Uh, 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 seven down. Self-satisfied. Smug. Yes. Six down. A section of land. A uh, parcel Acre. of plot. Uh, uh, a, a section of land. Acre. Acre. Uh, uh, right of passage. Yard. Uh, Maybe try ten. Uh, pass ten across. The canvas over a window or door. The canvas uh, over a window or door. Uh, I can't stand uh, it. Uh, Awning, awning, oh. and you and you got and six the uh, the uh, section of land was area, that was unbelievable. I you got uh, a lie, falsehood, bang, you got that just like this, and you got another one here that just amazed me. It was just so quick. Hyde, a park in London, Hyde Park. You got that. You did very Peter well. Peter Pan flew. Yeah, I know. Well, listen, you didn't get the trip, oh. but. But as we, Michael. at this point in the story, you said, <laughs> I still got Michael, and you can't, uh, you can't complain about that. All the girls in the audience are going, wow, what a lucky girl. Sorry you didn't win the trip, but we are not going to send you home without anything. We're going to send you home with Michael. No, Michelle. Great, well, we'll see you all later. <laughs> That's right, David. Lisa will enjoy a week for two in Palm Springs. A fabulous vacation at the Royce Resort Hotel, the hotel with no rooms. They're all sweets. It's sun and fun at Royce Resort Hotel. And heat food quickly in this microwave oven, a Whirlpool microwave oven with micro computer touch control. Program all cooking cycles, times and power with the touch of your fingertip. Quick to frost cycle, seal ceramic shelf, bi-level cooking rack, furnished by Whirlpool. Lisa, we don't have a second left. Thanks for being on the show. Congratulations to you. You got some nice stuff, Michael. Thank you for being, and stars, bless your hearts and thanks for being with us. Will you come so back much. and see us again maybe oh, tomorrow or something? Tomorrow. All right. I'm David Sparks. See you next time from Crossroads. Bye. Bye. Bye.